Recently, a company called Paxson exposed a t-shirt on Memorial Day with the U.S. flag upside down, signaling distress. Social media blew up both sides, mostly in disgust and offense. But there is a certain group of people that think it's their First Amendment right to utilize such gestures for anti-war demonstrations or signaling or those types of things. What are your thoughts on that and how would you feel as a Christian if somebody was to hang a Christian flag upside down or turn Jesus upside down? Do you feel it is their right for the First Amendment to do so and how would you feel? I think it's their right. Like I think it's their right to to say what they want. Not saying I agree with it at all, but it's I think it's their like right. And if someone put a Jesus upside down or a flag, a Christian flag or something like I would be I would be upset. I would probably like not I'm I'll talk to a person I'm not scared of people. I'd probably ask them what their opinion was or talk to them about it cuz I think they probably need to hear the message like if they're putting like a flag upside down that had the Christian Christian symbol on it upside down, they probably need to hear a message in some sort. So, I mean, that's probably what I would do is be like, hey, why, why are you doing this? Get in their side. Maybe tell them a little mine and have them give a little message about it. But I'd definitely, definitely be hurt. <laughs> um, I think it's important to respect other people's opinions. And with the American flag going upside down, I think so many people have fought for the freedom that we have today. And while they might have the right, I think it's important to recognize the respect, too. And I think if, like Carissa said, if they put Jesus upside down, you know, they did have the right with religious freedom and everything. But it, did, it would, like, upset me because, you know, I have the personal relationship and they probably do need to hear the message about it. But... They do have the right, I believe. It's just a matter of respect, too. Yeah, I would go with Kristen that I think that they have the right with the First Amendment to say what they want, um, put out what they think. I don't agree with it at all. Um, and when it comes to the American flag, if you want to disrespect our country, um, keeping in mind the people that have died to give us the freedoms that we have, um, I guess if you don't want to enjoy those freedoms, you can leave. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Spoken like a true cowboy. But I, I guess that's, that's, that's how it hits me, is I know that they have the right because we have the First Amendment, but they have the right because of the freedoms that we have in this country. So if you don't, if you don't like our country, you can leave. Um, and I guess it would be yeah. offensive to me to see the Christian flag flown upside down, um, but I would go with Carissa in the fact that that probably means they have been hurt by Christians or um, need to need to hear the love of Christ um, because they probably would not be flying the Christian flag upside down if they had understanding of what Christ has done for them and how much he loves them. Yeah. You know, I'll probably come from the second half of the question, you know, like when you said what is the proper Christian response to it. And I think in order to have a proper Christian response, you have to, first of all, start with um, a, a basis that uh, Jesus said that he only ever did what he saw the Father doing. And so we have to think about it from this perspective. Um, if, they hang a, if somebody puts an American flag upside down, puts it on a t-shirt, um, or somebody hangs a Christian flag upside down, puts that on a t-shirt, signaling like, you know, the American church or the church at large is in distress. And, you know, even, I don't know if you heard about this, there was a guy in New York years back, uh, that wanted to do a, a, a big art display. He was an artist, so he took a, a crucifix with Jesus on the cross and he put it upside down in a bottle of urine and sealed the bottle of urine up. And uh, it was just on display, an upside down cross with Jesus on it in urine. And, and so, the, you know, people do um, some of the craziest things sometimes. And, and so the question is, as a Christian, how should we respond? And so, as a Christian, if Jesus is our example, then we need to really respond in the same way that we see that God would respond, um, not just in Scripture, but also just in that relationship, knowing like, okay, God, 
knowing your character and nature, how would you want me to respond? And so you have to ask yourself, the, yourself this question, um, does it offend God or make him mad that somebody put a flag upside down on a t-shirt? Um, would it offend God or make God mad that somebody uh, put a Christian flag upside down on a t-shirt? Would it even offend God if, or make him mad if somebody took uh, a cross with Jesus on it, put it upside down, and dropped it in a bottle of urine? You know, would that make God mad? Would that offend him? Um, and that's the question. And so whatever uh, we see God's response to that situation, because I think all too often we just take too many liberties of ourselves and, and just uh, have a knee-jerk response in the name of God. You know, God and country, flags upside down, wah, and we, re we react to it instead of, of taking time to say, okay, Lord, what, what have you felt about this? And how can I accurately portray the same response you're responding to to this world at large and that I'm in? And so the Christian response is, in my words, to respond the way we see God responding to the situation. And oftentimes, it'll be pretty opposite of our logical reasoning. She's like, I need to come up for air. That was deep. No, I was. I was, when I think about it, like, I think of, like, does, no matter what the shirt has on it, like, does God really care that you guys are wearing, I missed the blue memo, that all three of you guys are wearing, like, blue shirts? Like, if it has, like, something disrespectful on it or not, like, does the clothing matter to God? Like, if we're talking about an, an article of clothing, does he care what? you're wearing that's like when you said does he like what he would do about it i honestly don't see him having the lightning bolt come down because you're wearing a piece of clothing like i don't know it's it's when you said that it just confused me honestly because yeah. i'm thinking well yeah it's really i think it'd be disrespectful and i would be hurt by it but would he care that it's a piece of clothing well and here's here's what i was um trying to say is I don't really believe God would be offended and upset that a flag was upside down on a t-shirt. But let me tell you this though. Um, when I was in high school, I played a lot of basketball. I loved basketball. I played a lot of it. And part of playing basketball is, you know, kind of balancing this emotional roller coaster that you have with referees. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ended up buying this t-shirt. Um, it was just a white t-shirt and it had a cool picture on the front of it. And on the back of the t-shirt, it said, Hey, ref, you suck. And I'm, still make that. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and I thought, what a cool shirt. That'll make a statement about how I feel about referees. And, and when I got the shirt, I was under a lot of conviction um, because I felt like the Lord was saying, Jeremiah, is that really the type of attitude that you want to be showing people? Is that, is that really the kind of attitude that you want to be representing me with? I was like, ugh, oh, you know. And so uh, in, in that sense, for, for me, the conviction that I felt about that piece of clothing that I was wearing had more to do with my attitude and what I was representing versus, you know, it's evil to have hay refuse up on a shirt. And so, you know, when we look at articles of clothing, um, whether they are represented with logos and icons or whether it's just fashion and modesty, we have to ask that question, you know, is this really the representation that we want to have? Are we really, um, is this really what we see uh, as acceptable and pleasing to God when, when we choose to do this? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so it, it, a lot of it's a reflection of the attitude of the heart. So, um, you know, a lot of a lot of ladies that you see um, who uh, dress in a provocative manner probably has more to do um, with an insecurity factor than it does. Oh, I just like the way this looks. You know, 
really the reality is that kind of clothing is purposed for drawing attention. And so is that really the kind of um, attention that God wants us to, to have? I don't know. This is my little modesty plug there. <laughs>